Whether you work in an office or a factory, in a corner shop or an out-of-town superstore, in a small family business or a multinational concern, the four key actions to be taken in the event of fire are the same. Raise the alarm. Call the fire brigade. Attack the fire. And evacuate the building. If only Eddie had been trained. He would have known to follow the four steps instantly, without even having to think about it. And if only he had been trained to know which type of extinguisher to use on which type of fire, then he'd have known never to use water on live electrical equipment. It makes sense to attack a small fire yourself, but only after you've alerted everybody else by triggering the fire alarm. If only Eddie had triggered the alarm. In an office fire such as this, the temperature can reach 900 degrees centigrade in four or five minutes. At this temperature, glass and metal such as aluminium would be melting. But nobody else in the building knows about it yet, and no firefighters are on the way to deal with it or help Eddie. He's on his own. No other people, <coughs> no training, no chance. Outside contractors and visitors, as well as employees, should be made aware of which escape route to be used in the event of fire, and with an alternative route in case the main escape route is impassable. Fire exits must be clearly signed and must be kept clear at all times. All staff should be instructed in the location and use of the fire alarm call points. Provision should be made in every building for sounding an alarm as the signal to evacuate. Assembly point A, everybody. If you hear it, that's just what you should do. Get out, straight away. But you can only do that if you already know the escape routes and if the exits are clear. So check them out before you need to use them. The fire brigade has to be called. Different companies will have different plans for making sure this is done. But usually, the person who discovers the fire alerts the company switchboard, who telephone the brigade. But whatever the plan, it's essential there's a set procedure and everyone knows their role in it. Can, can I take your name? What's vital is to communicate where the fire is, how big, and if anyone else is in danger. OK, can I take a contact number? Once the alarm has been raised, attack the fire. Learn which type of fire extinguisher can be used on which kind of fire. Never, for example, use a water extinguisher on an electrical fire. 